Welcome back in Belfast, and it's time for a little history lesson. We're not going to get into any specific incidents. Let's just say that the Irish to the south and the British subjects here in Northern Ireland haven't necessarily gotten along that well over the years or decades or centuries. It's been serious business, bloodshed, bombings, the Irish Republican Army representing the Catholics, the British military and police and militants of their own representing the Protestants. Throughout the 20th century, this city was ablaze, a literal war zone. But in 1998, a peace accord was struck. And for the most part, it's been quiet since. And how do you develop a lasting peace? You develop it with the kids. How do you get children who are natural rivals or natural arch enemies together? In the case of Northern Ireland, part of it begins at the hockey rink. It's great because it gets uh, people from both sides of the community together. And uh, since hockey's like a, a team, uh, team effort, it's, it's uh, building relations between uh, the two communities. Ross O'Driscoll was born in Cork, Ireland and moved to South Boston when he was eight years old. He's back and he's the alternate captain for the Irish national team. Not a single person from the north I have an issue with. I mean, I'm from Cork. I'm from as south as you can get. It's never been an issue from day one. Open arms and everyone's been great. So everyone on the team just wants to play hockey. Everyone wants to win and, you know, it, it wasn't us. It wasn't them. It's over with, you know? I mean, that's the way I look at it and that's the way a lot of them look at it. And now with the recent closing of the rink in Dundalk, more Catholic players from the south are looking to skate north. To see kids on the ice, different colors, different creeds, different religions, etc., etc., it doesn't matter to them, which is brilliant. To play in uh, <clears throat> Catholic Protestants playing together, uh, and it's great for the for the likes of our generation who grew up in the times where now we are faced with the parents of these kids. But ice hockey, like probably any other sport, you forget about it. These kids, it, it doesn't matter what colour or what religion they are, they're just, they're friends and, and, and ice hockey has brought them together. I mean, I think the giants say in the land of giants, everybody's equal. That's the way it should be. That's the way all sports should be, you know, in Northern Ireland and in the south of Ireland. Unfortunately, it's not in some cases. Ice hockey just seems to be different. It just has tapped into something that, you know, isn't in other sports. On a drive to the Dundonald rink in Belfast, one might still see remnants of the sectarian violence, and in a few neighborhoods, actual propaganda, some historical, some provocative. But these days, it's very limited, and in fact, former IRA members, among others, give tours of these areas. Once inside the rink, nothing doing. The antithesis of prejudice prevails, and the momentum is growing. Hockey in, in Northern Ireland and down south has brought the kids together. Relatively, my kids and their kids are getting on really, really well. There is, there is no religious division anymore in hockey. It's probably one of the only sports in this country that does have no religious division. The European Union started this program, uh, a peace program they call it, Peace 3. It, it, it went through three or four different stages. We, we, we got in on Peace 3, where they actually made funds available to encourage cross-border community cooperation. So the last season we got in on it and we got a great funding from them and we set up a, a, a cross-border committee to organise training, games and uh, away trips for the kids, you know. So basically we had a, a, a training session in Dundalk one week, we had a training session in the north another week, then we'd have a, a, a game between Belfast and ourselves and then we'd have a game with the kids mixed, Belfast and Dundalk together on both teams, you know. And it, it's terrific, and there's been terrific friendships formed out of it, you know. Yeah. It has broken down barriers. I'm always glad to see them come down to the rink, and they're glad to see me. I don't really care about religions or anything like that. I just think if they're a bud, they're a bud. Hockey? The impetus for world peace? Well, that might be asking a bit much. But it takes a village, and why not a village full of pucks? More Emerald Ice back in Belfast in just a bit. Yeah! The Boston Bruins weren't the only professionals playing hockey in Belfast in early October. Don't forget the Belfast Giants, a mainstay in the UK Elite League. Of course it's not NHL caliber hockey. In fact, it wouldn't rank within the top 10 leagues in Europe. But the game does have a following. And in Belfast, it's had a following for a decade. 
While the league has reorganized and changed its name once, and a few franchises have come and gone, the Belfast Giants remain stalwart. We get between four and 5,000 people, which is you know, probably the second best in the league. Um, the quality of hockey is really good again, and, uh, and it's a lot of fun. So we've, you know, in 10 years, we've had 1.2 million people through the doors, and, uh, and we've won six championships. So it's been, it's been a good decade. The import rule regarding how many foreigners can play here is liberal. While seven players must not only have a passport, they must have been born and trained in Britain or Ireland, the other 11 players may come from abroad. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, the city's great, the arena's great, the team's great. Um, they just put together a great, great situation here and uh, everything so far has been really smooth and it's been great. This is former UNH Wildcat Colin Hemingway's second season in the league. You know what, it couldn't be any better. I mean, uh, the city's unbelievable. Um, you know, we get treated really well here um, for the Elite League and uh, uh, having a lot of fun thus far. Obviously living with my brother and he's, he's got his fiance coming out here soon. Um, it's, uh, it's been a blast so far. The UK Elite League definitely isn't as deep as others in Europe. So to attract talent, they've added a very special educational incentive. Well, you have one of the big draws of playing here is uh, they give you a scholarship to go get your MBA. And uh, obviously something that's pretty valuable and I've always thought about doing. So twice a week, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday afternoons, I spend six hours at school, which gets a little long, but uh, you know I think it'll be well worth it. On the world stage, Ireland and Northern Ireland play together as one. Ireland, a member of the International Ice Hockey Federation. They're usually ranked near 40th in the world out of 50 ranked countries. Of course, that doesn't mean there's not genuine love for the game. There's a lot of room for growth here. I mean, uh, you know, ice time is a, is a bit of a hindrance, but I mean, we do have quite a few kids coming through the program. Uh, there was a little bit of a black spot for a few years here, but it's, it's, it's coming back on. You know, the Giants really help out a lot here, and uh, you know, the kids go to the games, and you know, they want to be, they want to be part of it. The Giants, well, they've had an adrenaline-filled start to their year. The Bruins, they begin the marathon that is the NHL schedule with a look ahead to the playoffs and Lord Stanley's Cup. The Irish kids, well, we're confident they'll get their rink or two and they'll keep on skating, playing, and getting along. Our crew here, we bid you farewell. Slán foil. Well, it changed my life when it started because I got this new activity that I could play and I've practiced so much, really want to go far with hockey. I just love, I just love the sport. It's fast, it's amazing, it's, it just keeps you on your toes every single time you watch it. It brings kids from different backgrounds as one team and you meet new friends and get to know each other. This is all the stuff you like about hockey. <laughs> I don't have any reasons, I just love it. Emerald Ice has been brought to you in part by Glacial Energy. Glacial Energy gives you the power to choose. To support Irish hockey and the Irish American Hockey Association, and to donate, go to www.irishhockey.com. Big I, Big H, it's irishhockey.com.